you ready to do some reading today? Yes, I am. Very good. Did you get the article that I sent you on the, the fungus that's attacking the wheat crops? I did. It was interesting. I didn't know that there was stuff like that happening to the wheat. Yeah, it's a huge story right now. It's pretty important. It's a big danger to the world's food. Yeah. Well, I thought what we'd do today yeah. is I have the article, and I thought maybe we could read through it. Uh, I sent you the activity sheet, and I'll have you put that up in a few minutes. We'll take a look at that, okay? Okay, okay sounds good. So I'm going to share that document with you right now. And that should come up on your screen. See it now. Very good. Can you read that title at the top for me really quickly? The title is yeah. New Fungus Strain is a Time Bomb for World's Wheat Crops. Okay, very good. I'm going to underline a couple words there, and I want you to see if you can tell me what those mean. You might not have heard those before. Time bomb? Yeah, what's, what's a time bomb? Um... I've seen them in the movies. They're like machines that explode at a certain time. Yeah, and what happens when they explode? They kill everybody unless someone cuts the right wire. <laughs> okay, very good. You see those like CSI and things like that. Well, this fungus strain is sort of like a time bomb in agriculture. And you can see on the right-hand side of the picture there, there's a picture of a wheat stalk that actually has some of the stem rust on it. So there's that first question. Can you read that question out for me? What is the name of the fungus and why was it named that? Um, there were two names, weren't there? There was... Yeah, and there was a main name that had some numbers and some letters in it. Do you remember what those were? Oh, yeah, it was UG99. Should I type that? Yeah, so go ahead. Looks like you pulled up a text box. Very good. UG99. And the second part of the question is why was it named that? Oh. It was named UG for Uganda. And 99 for. The, the year where it, the, the, the year it was found. Okay, Suzanne, can you see the screen? I, I can see it. Okay, very good. I'll put back up what we had before, IE and EI. Very good. Okay, you did a great job on that first section with peace and believe in the other words. Very good. Okay, how about the second group, I-E as in pie, and that's the long I, like high and sky. You've seen some of those before. Can you read those three for me? Die and lie and tie. Very good. And you might notice those are shorter words. Sometimes with a shorter word, you might see that combination too. Okay, and there's a rule there afterwards. Can you read that when you see? When you see I-E in an unknown word longer than three letters, try long E first. When a three-letter word ends in I-E, try long I. Oh, I didn't know that. Very, very good. So it's not 100%, but that might help you out quite a bit. 